needles so fine I'd weave a magic strand of rainbow design of rainbow design far over the waters I'd reach my magic band to every human being so they would understand so Did you ever did you ever hear the stories behind some of the nursery rhymes? You know, like a uh, ride a cock horse to Banbury Cross to see a fine lady ride on a white horse. And she shall have music wherever she goes, rings on her fingers and bells on her toes, she shall have music wherever she goes. It's supposed to be Queen Elizabeth back in the days when she used to ride around England with all her courtiers and ladies in waiting and she loved music. Did you hear the one, uh, Robin the Bobbin, the big bellied Ben, ate more meat than three score men, swallowed the church, swallowed the steeple, swallowed the priest and all the people, still his belly wasn't full. Some fella did some research on it, found it referred to King Henry VIII back around 400 years ago or more. He was taking over the Church of England and killing anybody that uh, got in his way. Robin the Bobbin, the big bellied Ben, ate more meat than three score men, swallowed the church, swallowed the steeple, swallowed the priest and all the people. Still his belly wasn't full. There's still another. Let's see. Do uh, you know? Oh, you know, little Jack Horner sat in the corner eating his Christmas pie. He stuck in his thumb, pulled out a plum, said, what a good boy am I. Well, this is kind of a grim story. King Henry, as I said, was taking over the church properties, but there was one big monastery he had not been able to close down. He couldn't find any pretext for it. Till finally, a young man by the name of John Horner went and informed the king that at the last tax accounting, the abbot of Glastonbury, a saintly old man named Richard Whiting, had not given an, a full accounting of all the church funds. There was some gold and silver stashed away in the attic or something. Well, that was all the pretext King Henry needed. You see, they were supposed to give a true accounting, and since they did not, he arrested the old abbot, and they had a trial. And the chief witness against the abbot was this young John Horner, Ironically, he'd been raised as an orphan. He'd been raised by the old abbot, who was his guardian. And he must have really hated the old man because, uh, because informing on him, he knew what would happen. The old abbot was tortured, and when he was convicted, his body was cut into four pieces and dragged around the countryside, and his head stuck on a stake for everybody to see. Now, the trial took place at Christmas time. And as uh, a reward for having helped the king, King Henry gave John Horner a big slice of church property. And uh, so some local wit made up this little piece of double entendre. Little Jack Horner sat in the corner eating his Christmas pie, stuck in his thumb and pulled out a plum. He said, what a good boy am I. Well, uh, songwriters have always fooled around with trying to figure how they were going to comment on events of the day. Sometimes they had to be very indirect, as in that song. Some of the other times a little more direct. Here's an old Irish song. Mrs. McGrath, the sergeant said, would you like to make a soldier out of your son, Ted? With a scarlet coat and a big cocked hat now, Mrs. McGrath, wouldn't you like that? Would you do rai ah for the diddle ah? Do rai oo rai oo rai ah? Would you do rai ah for the diddle ah? Do rai oo rai oo rai ah? So Mrs. McGrath sat on the seashore for the space of seven long years or more. Till she spied a ship come a sailing on the sea, hallelujah, babaloo, and I think it is he, would you do, rai 
for the diddle do rai hoo rai hoo rai ya would you do rai ya for the diddle do rai hoo rai hoo rai ya Captain dear, where have you been? Have you been sailing on the Mediterranean? Oh, have you any tidings of my son Ted? Is the poor boy living or is he dead? Do it you do rai ya, for the diddle do rai hoo rai hoo rai ya. Would you do rai ya, for the diddle do rai hoo rai hoo rai ya. Then up steps Ted without any legs, and in their place two wooden pegs. She kissed him a dozen times, a two cry on holy Moses, it isn't you, would you do rai ya, for the diddle do rai hoo rai hoo rai ya, would you do rai ya, for the diddle do rai hoo rai hoo rai ya. Oh, Teddy, my boy. The widow, oh, was you drunk? Or was you blind when you left your two fine legs behind? Or was it walking upon the sea? Wore your two fine legs from the knees away? Would you do rai ya for the diddle ah? Do rai oo rai oo rai ya? Would you do rai ya for the diddle ah? Do rai oo rai oo rai ya? I wasn't drunk, I wasn't blind when I left my two fine legs behind. But a cannonball on the fifth of May swept my two fine legs from the knees away. Would you do rai ya for the diddle ah? Do rai oo rai oo rai ya? Would you do rai ya for the diddle ah? Do rai oo rai oo rai ya? Oh, Teddy, my boy, the widow cried, your two fine legs were your mother's pride. I'd rather have my son as he used to be than the King of France and his whole navy. Would you do rai ya for the diddle ah? Do rai oo rai oo rai ya? Would you do rai ya for the diddle ah? Do rai oo rai oo rai ya? Foreign wars I do proclaim between Don John and the King of Spain. By the heavens, I'll make 'em rue the time they swept the leg from a child of mine. Would you do rai ya for the diddle ah? Do rai oo rai oo rai ya? Would you do rai ya for the diddle ah? Do rai oo rai oo rai ya? I guess that song came out of Ireland about two hundred years ago, maybe. Maybe more. A whole lot of old Irish songs like it. The Irish people were going around the world to fight the wars in the British red coats, red uniforms. And the songwriters, you see, wanted to say something about it. And uh, maybe they couldn't say exactly what they wanted to say, so they made a little story. Here's an even older song, and uh, this, uh, let me get the guitar here. This song came out of Germany, maybe 400 more years ago, when it was very easy to get thrown in jail, or worse, just for having the wrong opinions. If you were a Catholic in a Protestant country, or a Protestant in a Catholic country, or a Jew in most any country, why, you could easily get in trouble. And at that time, back in those days of the peasant wars, some fellow wrote a song which said, Thoughts are free, die Gedanken sind frei. Those are the German words. Die Gedanken sind frei, my thoughts freely flower. The Gedanken's in fry. My thoughts give me power. No scholar can map them. No hunter can trap them. No man can deny. The Gedanken's in fry. 
no man can deny. Die Gedanken sind frei. I think as I please, and this gives me pleasure. My conscience decrees this right I must treasure. My thoughts will not cater to Duke or Dictator. No man can deny the Gedanken sind frei. No man can deny the Gedanken sind frei. And should tyrants take me and throw me in prison, my thoughts will burst free like blossoms in season. Foundations will crumble, and structures will tumble, and free men will cry. The Gedanken sind frei, and free men shall cry. The Gedanken sind frei. Ah, well, all this is by way of introduction for a young friend of mine to sing you some of his songs that he's made up. His name is Len Chandler. I met him a couple years back. He was singing around New York. But before that, I found out he came from the Midwest, went to school out in Ohio, and uh, one of his professors uh, got in an argument with him, said, uh, you ought to learn some of the old uh, spirituals, and he said, oh, that's draggy old stuff. Who's interested in that? I'm studying music. I guess he was studying all kinds of uh, classical music. He's a very well-trained musician. But this professor said, uh, there's something in these old songs that, uh, that shouldn't die. Maybe it's uh, some of them help people live through slavery. And uh, he played Len Chandler some of Lead Belly's records, and Len said, hey, I got to find out more about this. When he got out of college, he kept on experimenting and learning about all kinds of music. And uh, then he decided he'd like to write some of his own songs. He'd been writing dozens of them, hundreds for all I know. Every time I see him, he's got a couple new ones. And he just doesn't uh, sing them to make a living, although making a living is part of the problem. But he sings it to all kinds of people that he feels are in the thick of a fight. He went down to Selma, Alabama a year or so back. My wife met, and I met him down there, singing up and down the march, making up new verses as he went along. Well, instead of me talking about him so much, I'll ask him to come in here in just a moment. We'll be uh, swapping some songs. He and I are going to simply swap. I'll sing a song, and he's going to sing a song. And I'll sing one, and he sings one. We'll see what happens. I don't know myself what's going to happen. Glenn, I don't know uh, exactly what you're going to sing today, and you don't know what I'm going to sing, but I figure uh, we'll just let, let loose and let the chips fall where they may. That's fine. And uh, any of you out there, if you get insulted, why, you can let us know. What do you want to sing first? Well, I know that um, uh, without question, as many times as you've had to jump on those trains and planes and leave home, um, you've had to get the guitars together and say goodbye. And this is one of the things that I, I put together to say goodbye one of the times that I had to leave. It's called Rattlin', Rumblin', Snortin', Grumblin', Taking Me Away From You Train. I put my ticket in my pocket and took my guitar from the wall. And set it with my suitcase by the railing in the hall. I hate so much this leaving you, it's taught me how to stall. If I could hit it lucky, love, I'd never leave at all. To catch that rattling, rumbling, snorting, and grumbling, taking me away from your train. That rattling, rumbling, Snorting and grumbling, taking me away from the train. I'd rather take a rattlesnake and hold him to my chest 
And to stop the singing of these songs that I love best So I leave home when I have to And I come back when I can Just to keep on keeping on I've got to be a man To catch that rattling, rumbling, snorting and grumbling Taking me away from you train That rattling, rumbling, snorting and grumbling Taking me away from you train Hey, I'm going downstairs, love, just to catch myself a ride And to catch myself a feeling of lonesome inside To catch myself a hurting that bangs around my brain To catch myself a hurting that's worse than any pain To catch that rattling Rumbling, snorting and grumbling, taking me away from you train. That rattling, rumbling, snorting and grumbling, taking me away from you train. When my job is finished and my fare is in my hand, I'll be heading home to you the quickest way I can. The train that I'll be riding on will have the sweetest sound. The sound of homesick angel wings As back to you I'm bound I'll catch that a Rattling, rumbling, snorting and Bringing me home again Bringing me home again train That a rattling, rumbling, snorting and Grumbling, bringing me home again You know Pete, this is where the song used to end But the last uh, couple times I had to leave I got to take old Nancy Rose with me So I wrote a verse or so just to get that said that says, all these times that I've been leaving you, I know it's been all wrong. We'll seldom have to say goodbye since you can come along. I haven't hit it lucky yet, but things aren't quite so bad. Together we'll be traveling, together we'll be glad to catch that Going off together now, going off together now, train. That rattling, rumbling, snorting and grumbling, going off together now, train. And just as surely as a barbed wire fence can't hold back the time, together we'll be breaking through, so it's together we should ride. But my schedule's getting tighter now, baby, and those trains just take so long. I guess we'll have to catch a plane and write another song. Hey, song keeps moving. The song keeps moving. Lots of people keep moving, too. Well, that kind of a personal song makes me think maybe I ought to sing a kind of a personal song myself. I'm going to try and keep up with you here. I don't hardly ever sing this in public. But uh, I made it up years ago. And never really forgot it. I'm gonna sing me a love song Just in hopes you might be passing by I'm gonna sing me a love song just in hopes you might be passing by And if you're not too busy Perhaps you might catch me on the fly Oh, what I got to say so personal Can't say it to no one but you So personal, can't say it to no one but you. It's just mm, 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 ooh, 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 Thank you. 
now my song is ended For the melody lingers on Now my song is ended But the melody lingers on And should I ever leave you Remember when I'm gone Your turn, Len. I think we're singing love songs. Let's sing oh, some love did. songs. We, we oh. seldom get a chance to sing love songs. No. <laughs> um, or would you like to go some other direction, well, maybe? I don't. I don't really draw too sharp lines sometimes between a song. If it's if you might have a love song for one person, and then you might have a, a kind of a love song that taking the whole human race. I'm I'm starting to deal with that. We were talking a little bit about that. I'd rather. Uh, I, I was just thinking of the last song that you did in the first uh, in the first section. Um, one of my songs seems to be uh, saying a good deal of what that person was saying, that poet was saying. Um, I have Not a Diga Duncan's in fries. Yes. Thoughts are free. Thoughts are free. Um, not only do I feel that the thoughts should be free, uh, you should be able to uh, say them out loud or uh, when you feel like it. This is. Uh, this is just a little personal experience that I had the other day. I was listening to some folk rock on the corner of the day when the beat got me stomping along. I said, that sure sounds fine. If you guys have got the time, you might like to hear a new song. They said, sure, if it's got soul, but all they meant was rock and roll. They said, tell me what the song's about. I said, the song's about Vietnam. It's telling Uncle Sam to scram. They said, protest songs are out. My name is Lynn. I'd like to be your friend, don't you know? Hey, but if telling where it's at is out, I don't want to be in. No, 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 I don't want to be in. I hope everybody knows that this little thing is called a capo. You put it on the guitar to change the keys. I can't walk down the street with a capo on my mind to be in tune with all the rest. There is no peace for me. I must play in my own key until I've said and done my best. The people running things, the presidents and other kings can't croon me into a daze. If I should hold my peace, the rocks and the mountains would scream about their evil ways. My name is Lynn. I'd like to be your friend, don't you know? Hey, but if telling where it's at is out, I don't want to be in. I don't want to be in. No, I don't want to be in. I was reading the other day about the roars across the way. That means across the whole wide world. Shoot the people, burn the town behind the guns that keep them down. I see the stars and the stripes unfurl. The other day when I was shaving, I found a half invisible chain around my neck. So I put on my super double C and eyeglasses, the inscription to inspect. I really didn't like it cause it made it hard to fly. I tried to get it off right away. I really should have known I'd have to fight to get it off cause it's made in the USA. My name is Lynn. I'd like to be your friend, don't you know? Hey, but if telling where it's at is out, I don't want to be in. No, 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 I don't want to be in. I don't want to be in. Hey, hey, that's a great one. If telling where it's at is it, out, is out. Yeah. I don't want to be in. That's right. Mm, well, I think maybe I got some on my... See if I can follow you on that with. Let me see if I can get this in tune here. Tell you what, 
you go somewhere for a moment, I'll get this guitar tuned up and I'll see you all in about two minutes, all right? <laughs> down death row I sang for three men destined for the chair walking down death row I sang of lives and loves in other years walking down death row I sang of hopes that used to be Through the bars into each separate cell Yes, I sang to one and two and three If you'd only stuck together, you'd not be here If you'd only loved each other's lives You'd not be here and if only this you could believe You still might, you might still be reprieved Walking down death row I turned a corner and found to my surprise there were women there as well And babies in their arms before my eyes Walking down death row I tried once more to sing of hopes that used to be But the thought of that contraption down the hall Waiting for them all, one dozen, two or three If you'd not been so loyal to those damn fools, you'd not be here If you could have loved each other's child as well You'd not be waiting here And if only this you could believe you still might, you might still be reprieved Walking down death row I concentrated singing for the young I sang of hopes that flickered still I tried to mouth their many separate tongues Walking down death row I sang of life and love that still might be Singing down death row To each separate human cell one billion to a three if you'd only stick together, you'd not be here If you could only love each other's lives, you'd not be waiting here And if only this you could believe You still might, you might still be reprieved Oh, I'm getting this. You know, um, I was sitting on this, uh, on the subway train in New York. And I don't know if you ever had that strange feeling that uh, when a, a train or something starts to pull off beside you, you get a feeling that the train or whatever you're on is going backwards. I got that feeling and I put some words together, uh, some other verses. It, it says... Uh, while sitting on a crowded southbound train It happened just the other day I could have sworn that I was rolling back 
As the train beside me slowly pulled away But my whole life long it seems I've been on that track With everybody rolling on And me just slipping back And they don't say goodbye And they don't wave back So I guess I've got to keep on Some people always say what I should do Now that's something they seem to know so well Ah, but it's what I've got to do that's on my mind And they never seem to listen when I tell But it really doesn't bother me that no one seems to care that the stairs are full of splinters and my tender feet are bare And I just can't keep from thinking there's trouble everywhere So I guess I've got to keep on keeping on Well, I know they wish my tongue would turn to stone or that I'd have kept it still the other day I said I'd like to see you walk the sea And you sank just like your feet were made of clay But there's a mountain in the bottom of that sea we flounder in If we'd find that mountaintop we wouldn't need to swim if we'd find that mountain sooner, just think where we could have been. So I guess I've got to keep on keeping on. Little old Gibson said one time. One ship sails east and the other sails west while the very same breezes blow. It's the set of the sail and not the gale that bids them where to go. And like the ships of the sea is the way of our fate. The seas are getting stormy and the hours getting late if that ship starts seeping water you know how to bail you can't change the weather but you sure can change the sail and a harbor looks much better when you've made it through a gale so i guess i've gotta keep on keep You know, that song kind of basically says, uh, um, it says, and made no money uh, and uh, with uh, what another song that I wrote said that made the only coins that I've ever made off of any song. Uh, well, I hope, I hope people do listen to the words of these songs. Um, that's what, uh, the, one of the verses in this particular thing says, uh, um, you know, uh, that that's what people kind of don't do. They're always telling people what they should be doing rather than to listen to them. And what Beans uh, uh, says basically is that people don't listen at all. Oh, I it's... hope it's not the truth. And I'm, I'm dealing with a, a I know hope now what song you're talking about. Beans in your ears. Yes. I've sung it for kids and grown-ups too. Yes. It's a grown-up song and works very well for children. Even though, um, I, I, don't, I don't know if... Uh, it has been outlawed on the uh, on the radio now. Did you hear about that? Beans in your ears was outlawed yes. on the radio. My father called up. Why? Uh, it's it was outlawed because they figured that uh, kids were doing uh, what the song suggested. That is, put beans in your ears, and uh, <laughs> so they took it off the radio. <laughs> Oh, but, sing it anyway. I'm, I'm sort of so I'm one of the only uh, writers in the United States. I feel that it has been banned by the Board of Health. 
<laughs> uh, come on, sing it with me, Laura. people, when we get around to it. It says, my mommy says not to put beans in my ears, beans in my ears, beans in my ears. My mommy says not to put beans in my ears, beans in my ears. Now why should I want to put beans in my ears, beans in my ears? Beans in my ears, now why should I want to put beans in my ears? Beans in my ears. You can't hear your teachers with beans in your ears. Chicka chicka beans, 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 beans in your ears. Oh, beans in your ears. You can't hear your teachers with beans in your ears. Beans in your ears. Maybe it's fun to have beans in your ears. Beans in your ears. Beans in your ears. Maybe it's fun to have beans in your ears. Beans in your ears. Hey, Charlie, let's go and put beans in our ears. Beans in our ears. Beans in our ears. Hey, Charlie, let's go and put beans in our ears. Beans in our ears. What's that you say? Let's put beans in our ears. Beans in our ears. Beans in our ears. What's that you say? Let's put beans in our ears. Beans in our ears. You'll have to speak up. I've got beans in my ears. Beans in my ears. Beans in my ears. You'll have to speak up. I've got beans in my ears. Beans in my ears. I think that all grown ups have beans in their ears. Beans in their ears. Beans in their ears, I think that all grown-ups have beans in their ears. Beans in their ears. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, it's true. Well, we got time for a few more. I'll see you in just a minute. Ah, uh, Len, you're such a prolific songwriter. I'm having trouble keeping up with you. Also, because these words of the songs you sing come right, right out and say what you mean without any beating around the bush, uh, not very many songs or many people do this. I guess everybody learns how to be polite. I remember something I once read. Uh, it's not that you want to be mean to someone. Often uh, uh, what I read was... Uh, the man who won't lie to his wife has no regard for her feelings. <laughs> and uh, everybody, at least most everybody, learns all kinds of ways to, uh, of avoiding how to say the things that need to be said. Uh, so I don't know what I got that I can measure up. Well, I'll sing a song for winter time. It's my favorite season of the year. Snow, snow falling down, covering up my dirty old town. Snow, snow falling down, covering up my Covers the garbage dump, covers the holes, covers the rich homes and the poor souls. Snow, snow falling down, covering up my dirty old town. the street lamp there stands a girl looks like she doesn't have a friend in this world look at the big flakes come drifting down drifting and drifting to round and round snow snow falling down covering up my 
Covers the station, covers the tracks, covers the footsteps of those who'll not be back. Snow, snow, falling down, covering up my dirty old town. Snow, snow, falling down, covering up my You know, um, of all of all the singers that have been really, um, oh well, it, it's just that it's so many of the things that you do say and that you do and wherever you do them, and they're always so direct, and you get your message through and the message of the people through. I think that uh, that the commitment uh, that some people have made, um, well, the sort of ignoring their their lives and going ahead and saying what has to be said, is what I would like to do, and that's what this song kind of deals with. Um, your your show is uh, uh, the show is called Rainbow Quest, but uh, for but you are certainly not a uh, shadow dream chaser of rainbows. And there are things to be done. There are things to be said. Some may live a long time, but we're all a long time dead. And I think of the things that I've thought, done, and said. And I think of the time I've been wasted. I think of the time that before us has been. I think of how little each man's had to spend And I think of how close is my own little end And I think how my life I've been spending To strangle in minutes and hours to drown in years and in months for the last time go down Out of touch, out of taste, out of sight, out of sound With no echo, echo, and cast in no shadow I think of the mazes of folly I've run How randomly chosen, how wantonly run Not for fame, nor fortune, nor freedom, nor fun Just a shadow dream chaser of rainbows But the moths deep inside me have started to churn I think of the fires I've been drawn to to learn The lesson drew blisters, but I know now fire burns And I'll soon be a handful of ashes The fires, they do dazzle, hey, but rainbows do charm I see the stop signal, I hear the alarm But I can't heed the warning, for my head is a swarm Of moths as they rush for my candle Just say what you want to and you'll say what you should Do what feels natural and you'll do what is good the idea is not strange but you know that it would turn you to a handful of ashes we chase after rainbows because we've been told that at each rainbow's end there's that great pot of gold but a rainbow gold chasers all forfeit their souls the soulless have never cast shadows. I once knew a man, and I'll now call him friend. He called me a fool for the time I would spend reaching for rainbows. 
things and trying to pretend that gold was more precious than shadows. There are things to be done, there are things to be said. Some may live a long time, but we're all a long time dead. I think of the things that I've thought, done and said. And I think of the time I've been wasting. I hope you got these recorded so uh, we all can listen to them again. Uh, uh, sh Shadow Dream Chaser of Rainbows will be on my album. Uh, good. Glenn, we got time for just one more, and you were singing me back in the dressing room uh, some new words you'd made up to old John Brown's body. And uh, it made me think how many different sets of words must have been put to that. Uh, John Brown's body, uh, solidarity forever, battle hymn of the republic, yeah. I think that's it. Well, and before that even it was a Methodist hymn. Say, be... brothers, will you meet us on Canaan's happy shore? I didn't know that it had uh, anything had preceded John Brown's body. No? Um, a solidarity forever. Uh, you see, uh, la there was a... 106 commemoration of um, of the Harpers Ferry raid, and I went to that and uh, wrote these new words. They were mimeographed, passed out. They sang it. There. there are lots of people who lay down in the way of a, of a movement or an idea that they even want to help, but this song isn't a violent song. Mine eyes have seen injustice in each city, town, and state. Your jails are filled with black men, and your courts are white with hate. And with every bid for freedom, someone whispers to us, wait. But the movement's moving on. You're the killers of the dream In a savage world of bandits It is you who are extreme And you never take your earmuffs off Nor listen when we scream Are the movements moving on? Your dove of peace with bloody beak Sings talons in a child You bend the olive branch To make a bow Then with a smile You string it with a lynch rope You've been a-hiding all the while But the movement's moving on You conspire to keep us silent In the field and in the slum you promise us the vote Then sing us we shall overcome Hey, but John Brown knew what freedom was And he died to win us some Are the movements moving on? Let's tie last time the chorus together, please Move on over Or we'll move on over you Move on over From the coward and the knave, I declare my independence from the fool and from the slave. I declare that I will fight for right and fear no jail nor grave. Oh, had I a golden thread? And
and needles so fine. I'd weave a magic strand of rainbow design, of rainbow design. In it I'd weave the bravery of women giving birth. In it I'd weave the innocence of children over all the earth. Children of all earth, far over the water, I'd reach my magic band to every city, through every single land, through every land. Show my brothers and my sisters my rainbow design. Bind up this old world with hand and heart and mind. <laughs> 